Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to teach you about tangent. Okay, so uh, tangent. First thing about tangent is um, tangent is if you've seen the previous video that I made, tangent theta is the opposite side over the adjacent side to theta, which is an angle. Okay, so this is angle. Uh, so, yeah, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And you're going to use this only when, well, let's look at this triangle. What kind of triangle is this? Well, there's some criteria that we have to follow before we use tangent. First one, only when you have a right triangle. Next criteria is um, when you have one other angle. So let's look at this. We have a right angle in this right triangle and we have the other angle. One other one. Oh, we only need one other one. And then next thing is you have either either the opposite or adjacent. So look at this. Here's our 37 degrees, that other angle, and we have its adjacent side, the side that's next to it, that's not the hypotenuse. And we use it when we are trying to find a missing side that is the opposite or adjacent. All right, so here we are. We have a right triangle. We have one other angle. Uh, we have the, the adjacent side, and we are trying to find the opposite side to that 37. So, um, yeah, looks like we have a triangle where we can use tangent. So we have angle, opposite is what we're trying to find, and we have adjacent. So let's do this. Okay. So find the length of the missing side. Here's its exact same triangle that I just showed you and grab your calculators. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to use this uh, to find, not even just try, but to definitely get the correct answer with confidence um, using your calculator or maybe even your cell phone calculator. Um, so, all right. Uh, so let's set this up. Let's set up this this ratio, this tangent ratio. We know we're going to use tangent because we have we're trying to find the opposite and we have the adjacent. So let's write that out. So the tangent theta, our theta is that other angle that they give us, which is 37 equals the opposite, which is x over 17. All right, now we set up the ratio, okay? We have angle, we have the opposite over adjacent. We set it up, but we don't have the answer. We don't know what X really is. So we're going to make this uh, look like more like a proportion. What's the invisible number that you could put under any number? It's one. So we're gonna put one right here. And you're like, what is this? What is tangent of 37? Well, if you look at your calculators, um, if I typed in tangent of 37, it's just a number, okay? It's actually the uh, the the ratio of uh, the opposite side over to the adjacent side when the angle is 37. So we're going to use that ratio. I know that sounded complicated, but it's just short short answer. It's just a number, okay? So um, we're going to before we even use our calculators, though, uh, we want to get x by itself. How would we get x by itself? Uh, we have a proportion, so we would 
cross multiply. So one times x is just x. Don't say one x. Let's, let's keep it simple. So it's just x is equal to, now you could put a tangent of 37 times 17, but I suggest putting this number out in the front. So put 17 times tangent of 37. Now, we still don't have a number. You, if you, you, if you asked someone, hey, how how tall is is that that wall? You're not gonna say 17 times tangent of 37. You're gonna give them an actual number. So, let's grab our calculators and give them an actual number. First thing is this is this is super important. Um, you guys see that? You see that? Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. You see that little those three three letters right there? It says deg. Deg, deg, that means degrees. That means our calculator is set to degrees. And look, the angle that we give us, it's in degrees, it says 37 degrees. So make sure your calculator is set to degrees. Uh, if you have one of these fancy calculators, you go to mode, you just press mode, and then make sure, see it says deg. Don't pick rad, just because you think you're radical, you're rad, you're a rad dude from the 80s, whatever. Uh, or even grad, like you, you want to grad, whatever. Make sure it's in deg for degrees, okay? And then with a fancy calculator like this, fancy what I mean is that you have more than one line, okay? You could, you could, it shows more than one line. Uh, all you have to do is just type in what you see. And you know what? You don't even have to put the times. Uh, so all you do is put 17, uh, Let's let's be let's be um, specific though. Let's put times tangent of thirty seven, and just for good measure. I mean, your calculator would still work. It's not going to give an error, but I like closing the parentheses just because I like this the symmetry, uh, symmetry behind it. Can't even say it. Okay, so and then we press enter, enter, and then we there we have our answer. Um, we have so x really is x equals 12.8104 and I'm going to round it to just the the uh, the what is this the the 10,000th place this is a tenth place hundredth place thousandth place 10,000th place I like to to not round it too early uh, so uh, yeah okay now if you don't have a calculator where, where it has multiple lines um, that's fine if even if, if you don't have a calculator, but you have, um, you don't have a calculator, but you have a super expensive uh, phone, um, like an, an internet phone, internet phone, that's iPhone, duh. Um, it has a calculator app. And so, but it's, it's going to be a little different. So turn your, your calculator app this way. So you could, it reveals the magic of more buttons. Um, and then, Make sure that your calculator is in degrees. You see this little button where it says rad? Uh, don't press it because if you press it, then that shows up and then it's in radians. That's what rad uh, represents. But look, it changed to, to deg. Deg. So make sure it's in deg. Okay? And so that it doesn't say rad up here. And now we're going to, it's going to be a little different. Okay? So we're going to go 17 times. 37 and then we're going to uh, see it's backwards we put 17 times 37 but we're, we're not going to just multiply by 37 we want the tangent of 37 so now we're going to press tangent whoa and you would have thought we got a 12.81 but there's one important button you did not press yet you didn't press equals boom 12.8104 uh so again it's a little different the order that you press the buttons. Okay, so you go 17 times tangent. Oh, sorry, no, 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 I was wrong. Delete what I just said. 17 times 37 and tangent. So if you if you just le left at that, this 0.75 would be the tangent of 37. Now to make it multiply to 17 you press equals boom there's your answer okay so all right
Let's do another example. Let's do another example. Let's do another example. Find the length of the missing side. Find the length of the missing side. Uh, so we have our angle. We have the opposites. And hey, look at that. We have the adjacent tangent. Is it the opposite over the adjacent TOA? Uh, so tangent of the angle, which is 29, is equal to the opposite, which is x over 11. We're going to put that invisible 1 under. So it reminds us to, what do you do? Cross multiply. So let's cross multiply. 1 times x is x. And we're going to put 11 times. If you want to put parentheses, you can do that too. Go for it. Tangent of 29. If you, if, if you love parentheses, you could even put more parentheses like that. You could go parentheses crazy and go like that. But it's still the same thing. It's still 11 times tangent of 29. And I'm going to use my... my um, my yellow calculator that is school property um, and we're going to put we're going to type in 11 uh, tangent of 29 these calculators are, are semi smart they they know that if you just put 11 and no multiplication they they're they know that you want multiplication and so we got 6.09739 so x is equal to 6.097 and then we're going to round up for that 10,000th place so let's make it 4 look at that okay and then same thing uh, we're going to type in 11 times 29 tangent don't freak out what button did you forget to press equals look at that same answer okay we're gonna do two more examples because we need two more examples this is how it is find the length of the missing side here you go um so we have now this one's a little different so pay attention to this one um we have this angle and this is the opposite. So we're going to write tangent of 65 is equal to the opposite over x. Look, that's different. Okay. And I'm going to put a 1 under. So don't assume that you don't have to do any math because you're going to say 10 times tangent of 65. Incorrect. If we cross multiplied, like that, this would be x times tangent of 65 is equal to 1 times 10. Is x by itself? No. What's x doing? Multiplying x times tangent of 65. Let's put a parenthesis around here. So what's the opposite of multiplication? Say it. Say it. Say it. It's division. Good. So. We're going to divide both sides by tangent of 65. Both sides by tangent of 65. And look at that. These tangents of 65s cancel each other out. And so we're left with x is equal to 10 over tangent of 65. Now, in our calculators, we could type in 10 divided by and I want to put a parentheses just to make sure. Tangent of 65, close parentheses, 4.6630. So x, and then I want to round up to the 10 thousandths place. That's four zeros, so 4.6631. Um, another fancy feature of, of these kinds of calculators, if you have one of these buttons, n over d, you could, you could just type it in like you actually see it in tangent of 65 like that because that's how we see it. And look, we got the same answer. Uh, now, hopefully as I'm using my phone, I don't get a text message that's, yeah, that's from a friend that who likes to send inappropriate text messages at the wrong times. So I'm gonna do this really quick. Uh, so 10 uh, divided by 65 
tangent and you press equal 4.66 degrees zero all right yeah yeah look at that okay and last one find the missing side we have 17 we have the opposite we have the adjacent so tangent of 17 is equal to the opposite which is 12 over x and we're going to put a 1 under we're going to cross multiply 1 times 12 is 12 is equal to x times tangent of 17 that's times we want to get x by itself opposite of multiplication is division so x is equal to 12 over tangent of 17 and now i'm going to use just one calculator 12 actually let's get fancy 12 over tangent of 17 39.2 okay so x is equal to 39.250 Two. But we're not done. If you want to know, if you want to make sure that you really have this correct, a different way to do this, to, just to check yourself, okay, is um, there's three angles in a in a triangle. This is 17. This is 90. And we know all three angles add up to 180. So 90 plus 17 is 107. Subtract that from 180 is 73. This angle right here, and I'm going to put it. In a different color because this is a different way to do this this is 73 degrees yeah let's ignore the 17 let's just use this 73 degrees and let's find the tangent of 73 tangent of 73 is equal to x over 12 okay so this is a different way of getting x by using the other angle if we cross multiply we have x is equal to 12 times tangent of 73. Let's type this in our calculators. 12 times tangent of 73. What? We, it gives us the exact same answer. So there are two ways to set up the proportion. You could use the angle that they gave us, or you could use an angle that you like, or the other alternate, not just any angle that you like, but the other angle, okay? It's not based off your likes or dislikes. The other angle, using math. And then set up the other proportion based off of that angle. You'll still get the same answer. So here's a hint on a test. If you want to really make sure that you got it correct, set up both proportions and make sure that both proportions get the exact same answer. All right, that's it. That is it on tangents. Um, so, hope that helps. Great job if you paid attention.